Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making a video doing a marble paperweight. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a rock and same technique that some nail technicians use to do marble nails is um, just water and nail polish. We're going to be doing that to rocks. I saw this initially on Pinterest and I thought it looked really cool. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of it. Alright, so this is what I saw and I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. I just thought it was really, really neat and I want to make one to keep as a paperweight but another idea that I had and I don't know if every um, state has the same thing or this is just where I live but we have this thing where now people are hiding rocks in parks and trails and kids can go and find them and then they go and rehide them and so I thought if I made like two or three I can go and hide them myself for that and then just keep one as a paperweight because I do think they're going to look pretty neat if it works so hopefully we're going to be able to see how this pin works. So yeah, I'm excited and let's just get started. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and go through all the materials that I got. So the first thing obviously is going to be getting the rocks. So when I was looking for the rocks, I just went out to like this creek that we have um, near us. And I was looking for soft edges and kind of like a flat top or just a flat rock and so I found this one this one's the biggest one I got and I thought it was perfect because I do want this to be my paperweight and then I got two little ones and again I just look for the same thing I wanted one at least one side to be flat and so this is the smallest one I got and then this is the other one that I got and it's pretty thin just flat the next thing is white paint and I got this at Walmart. It was like 88 cents. And then I got some nail polish. And I just went and looked for the cheapest nail polish they had because I did have some, but I didn't want to use my nice nail polish for this because I don't know how many times when I have to try it or hopefully I don't have to redo it because I'm pretty sure that I'll ruin the rocks. So I'm just going to hope that this goes well. So I just went and got some bright colors. So I went with this bright blue one. And then I went with a green, or actually it's like a teal color. And then yellow, this one's kind of like a pink purple color. And then I got this bright coral, which matches my shirt. So I think the colors are pretty bright to show up, especially after we paint the rocks white. And then the other thing that I got was just this plastic bowl because I didn't want to ruin my bowl. And the last thing would be a paintbrush. I don't know how this is gonna go. And I hope I don't ruin, I mean, at least I got three rocks. So if I ruin one, I'll just probably start with the ugliest one, which is this one. And then I can just do the little one and the big one. But yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. When I got these, I did um, wash all of the dirt and things off of it so you might want to do that when you get the rocks Using the hair dryer to dry these was really good. Just make sure that when you're drying them with the hair dryer that you use the cool setting. They're all white and of course they're not perfect because they're rocks. So you are going to have some spots that the paint is just not going to go through. But overall it's just white. I'm going to go ahead and fill this with water and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got the water now and we can go ahead and start adding the color. I need to improvise because I did not have a toothpick, but I'm going to do it with a needle. And so we move this to one end and then this to the other. And then we start to 
and then we just submerge the rock from here. And here's this. I mean, for the first time of me doing this, it looks pretty cool. It is marble. So I really want to try this again now that I got an idea of what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this one, that is so cool. This one is definitely the best. The first one was kind of my like practice, but this looks awesome. So the rocks have officially dried and I am pretty happy with this one in particular because I feel like this was my best one. This was my first attempt so I am really proud of this one. But I feel like the other ones, like the first one is kind of like eh, it has a lot of colors but the design, you know as you marble leaves you really have to think through the design because if you dip them you might just get whatever the design was on that part. So I think I dipped it too much into the left side and then the yellow kind of like went to this side, but I still think it looks pretty cool. It definitely painted the entire rock. So that was really neat. And then this one's really cute, but overall this was just very fun. All right, so we are officially done with this video. And it was actually really quick. It didn't take me as long as it, all the other videos that I've done with DIYs. This one was really fast. The only time consuming part was just letting the rocks dry, but I used a hair dryer and they did have like little white marks whenever they did dry finally. But I mean, that's just normal because you're using um, nail polish. So it's not natural for it to go on a rock, obviously. But it is really, really neat. And this one's by far my favorite one. It was my first time doing anything marbled with like nail polish. So I feel like once you get the hang of it, of the designs and how to like break the nail polish with the toothpick or I used the needle because I didn't have a toothpick. But once you like go over and you start breaking the design and then you know where you want to drop the rock, that's what will make the design even better. And if you want to do a bunch of rocks, this is so, like, it literally takes like two seconds. Like once you get the nail polish and you dip it and then you take it out, that's all you gotta do because it literally paints the whole rock. So you can do like 20 rocks at a time um, if you're doing that game where you go and hide them. So I think it was pretty neat. Your hands will get really, really messy and you know, you're gonna need nail polish remover. To remove the nail polish but other than that I think it was really fun and I really do want to try some other designs I know they have some that um, you can use like black nail polish with silver and like a metallic purple and it'll make like the galaxy kind of um, look and now that I know that when they dry they have these like white circles that would actually just look like the stars so like you can make galaxy rocks i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please like it and subscribe i will make more videos like this if you have any ideas let me know down below and i'll see you guys later bye